I'm Jack Blumenau and I'm a lecturer in political science and quantitative research methods here at the Department of Political Science at UCL. So the quantitative methods training that we provide um, here at UCL is, is broader and I think more interesting than a typical um, introduction to statistics course. So instead we hope to provide students with, um, with new ways of thinking about the social world and in particular we teach students a wide variety of strategies for analysing data with um, the goal of understanding and, and kind of ultimately solving key problems in society, politics, and public policy. So we cover many examples um, in many different areas of political science um, and in public policy, so from the causes of electoral manipulation to the determinants of effective health policy and education policy, to the effects of media on election outcomes and female leadership on public policy outcomes. And so our courses are fundamentally applied in that we we constantly focus on how these methods can be used to address real-world problems. The quantitative methods training that we provide here at the Department of Political Science um, provides students with, I think, three main benefits. Um, the first is that it enables students to become critical consumers of the, the cutting-edge research in the social sciences. So, Rather than simply taking the evidence presented by authors in their books or their journal articles as given, instead we really equip students with the tools that they need to, to, to be able to evaluate that evidence in the context that it's given and, and to, to judge whether it really provides a, a convincing answer to an author's research question. Secondly, um, students will also learn um, a lot of practical and applied skills. Notably, we teach them how to program in the R programming language which will help them to apply quantitative methods to research questions of their own choosing. And so it's, it's very common, even for students who come to UCL with no prior quantitative background, to use quantitative methods and, and, the, and the programming skills that we teach them um, in their MSc dissertations. The final thing that I think that the, the, the training offers is that it really gives um, students a chance to, to, to develop um, skills that are going to be valuable to them um, in their careers. So being able to collect and to analyze and ultimately to understand data, quantitative data, is, is fast becoming a, a crucial skill on the job market. And so whether students want to work in, um, in government, in nonprofits, in uh, the public sector, the private sector, um, or even in academia, then um, the data science skill set that we provide um, will, will really be an invaluable resource for their CVs. We know that students coming to join the one-year MSc programs um, often have limited experience with quantitative methods. Um, and some haven't studied maths or statistics since they were in high school. So because of this, we make sure that our courses um, really are designed for people with those backgrounds. So if you come to UCL with no prior experience in quantitative methods, then we have an introduction to quantitative methods course, which really has, um, has no prior knowledge required to take the course. Um, if you come um, having taken a course in statistics or, or quantitative research methods, then there is a more advanced course, which, um, which you, can, you can go straight onto the advanced course, which moves at a slightly faster pace. In my experience, it's often the students with the weaker backgrounds in maths and statistics who get the most out of the quantitative methods courses that we teach here. And that's because they come out of the year with new skills and new ways of both asking and answering questions about the social world, which is, after all, why they come here to do a master's degree in the first place. So we try and provide a lot of help and a lot of support to students who are taking the quantitative research methods courses here at UCL. Um, we have a, a, a large number of teachers um, teaching across the two different modules. Um, in fact, we have so many teachers that we're able to offer daily office hours where students can come and ask questions about the course material. Um, in addition to sort of the, the, the extensive contact time we offer, we also provide a dedicated website for both the quantitative courses. So, so we have these websites which have a lot of um, um, information on them. They include detailed lecture notes, lecture slides, and they also have um, quizzes and online um, tutorials for using the R programming language, which students, I think, find a very helpful resource, which they then take away and use in, in future work that they, that they apply quantitative methods to.